Howdy ho, friends. It's Annie. Uh, today we will be opening, oh my gosh, Lost Cavern of Ixalan Collector Boosters, whole case. I got some friends here. Say hi, friends. Hello, hello friends. Good evening. Hello, hello. All right. Who's ready to open some Lost Cavern of Ixalan? Dinosaurs. There's dinosaurs in here, right, guys? Dinosaurs. dinosaurs. Right? And caves. I got my handy dandy red and knife. Vampires. Pirates. Oh, Our mermaids. Ooh, mermaids, huh? All right. Six boxes. All right. Pick your poison, friends. All right. Just get into it. I think we just had a draft of this set today. How, yes. was, how was the draft? How was the draft? Uh, the set plays great. Um, there's a lot of fun different archetypes. There's a lot Ooh, that leads box into... So one thing about me is I never open the box topper. I know it kills people what's inside, but we do not open the box topper. I just collect them. Great set of draft. There's a lot of archetypes that fit all types of players. There's aggro, a little bit of combo, descends a brand new mechanic, discovers a brand new mechanic. So there's a lot of cool, fun stuff uh, in Caverns of Ixalan. And some returning uh, scaly friends, which everyone's very excited for. So hopefully we will see a couple of those. Ready? Mm -hmm. Have fun. So what are the chase cards in here? Um, so the big one in these collector boosters that everyone's going to be after is going to be the neon print mana crypts. Um, those are the, the number one top prize. Other than that, um, the white god is very sought after. Um, and then also that will be uh, the cabin of souls is the other one. Those That one also has some neon ink variants that are... Um, People are really loving. Look at the lands. The lands are, nice. lands are really pretty. The lands are beautiful. Some of the best full arts they've made recently. Great little merfolk. This is some of those cool new merfolk that cares about landfall and um, exploring. Worming emergence? Some of the new beautiful uh, full art variants that are Ooh, in the set. That's the, pretty. Uh, I'm not sure if you call them like watercolor. I don't think they necessarily are. Um, but that one, and then if I get one, I'll show it off. Um, but there's a beautiful treatment that kind of is very uh, reminiscent of Aztec um, culture, which is kind of cool. Which is one of those. If you'd love to show that off. This one. This guy. Mm -hmm. Yes. Ooh, so a lot of those have a beautiful treatment like that, where they look kind of. Um, inspired by like Aztec art and, and uh, architecture. Oh, I got another that, um, how do you say that? Uh, that is a Scythe Claw Raptor. Scythe Claw Raptor. Yes, his claws are very sharp. Uh, this is one of those, um, kind of more of a, of a better example of that Aztec art. So it's very reminiscent of like Mexican culture. Yeah. That, which is very cool. But this is, I think, I believe our first myth. Oh, oh. Um, Kevin, you got a big gashath right there. I'm going to show that off to the lovely people at home. Leave that there for everyone at home to look at that's, and admire. That's one of our beautiful um, returning scaly friends that I was mentioning earlier, Gashath, everyone's favorite female dinosaur. Go ah. girl boss. Uh, another great card that are included in the set are the Jurassic Park arts. So, Wait, um, is Jurassic Park in here? Yes. So there's, uh, there's a beautiful command tower to go along with our... I don't remember his name. The guy. Um, but what's cool about all the lands from the Jurassic Park art is that they are actually flip lands. So most of them have a side, which is the park before the incident, and then the park after the incident. Oh, that's um, cool. So there's a command tower and some basic lands that are kind of done with that. Um, Dino, do you need a great card? Uh, and here's another great card. This is one of the gods that I was talking about. The red one. Um, I'm going to... Butcher this, but Ogier Axenol. 
I don't know. And then a fungus. Those are pretty fun guys here. <laughs> I really enjoy looking at the lands on these. The lands are gorgeous. They are gorgeous. Ooh, Earth Sacred Dreadmoth. Ooh, another, uh, go, uh, I said Godzilla, Jurassic Park card. Um, the Grim Gigantinosaurus. Nailed it. Oh, that's a, that is a $60 card right now. Oh, nice. Yeah. That is a very good sought after card. Restless Anchorage. Ooh, Dino DNA. Oh, Hollow. Fungus Dinosaur. Rawr! I love this. I think I just want to talk about this a little bit. This is kind of fun. Um, they made a card um, that is based around the Aztec sport, which I can't remember the name, which actually inspired uh, basketball. Then it's kind of a fun inclusion to the uh, inspiration oh. and culture from the set. Um, they played with their hip, and it was like a big stone ball. That's they tried interesting. to bounce it in there. I thought that was a cavern of souls. I was about to do a little victory lap. Well, what's a cavern of souls? would be the fourth one I found. Ooh, what is going on here? Ooh, that's um, Lava Chung. Pretty sick. Ooh, here's a great one. So, here's a great uh, little Jurassic Park land. This is the island, so it features one of the little, like, water probes. The big friend behind it. And then the big friend, um, eaten in front of a bunch of cheering fans. So that's kind of cool. Hmm. And a hulking raptor. And yeah, a map. Hunting those Another those $50 card right, right there. There's Fan a cool favorite. Bat token here. Friendly bat. Oh, I got a map. Fungus. The Brave. Great card in draft. Two drops that deals three damage to most targets. That's going to kill a lot of things in this set. Drafters. Look for this card when you're drafting. Which one? A Brave. Oh. Just a common. Two drop. Great card. Hidden courtyard. Confounding riddle. There's a lot of. Um, Colorfulness. Yes. In, in mm. these cards. A set that brings a lot of uh, life and color to match, mm -hmm. which has been very dark lately. So that's kind of cool. Ooh, the Tyrannosaurus! The Big T Rex! <laughs> oh, here's another great Diamond Jurassic Park card. Here's a guy getting um, taken for a ride by a swooping Petronodon. Oop, and what is this god? I haven't seen this. The Ancient One. That beautiful foiling treatment. Thank you, Wizards of the Coast. I guess it's funny because there's some behind. Hmm. Ooh, the Green God. So Great who card. Didn't you play in the uh, pre-release? I did play How in the pre-release. How was that? So the pre-release is a, it's kind of a similar draft, a great set. Um, I don't know how to really, you know. Uh, for those who don't know, who are brand new, Little Magic Young Links, pre-release is a sealed format that you do when the set first comes out, or a week, I guess a week before the set comes out, where you get a pre-release bundle, which gives you a promo card and six draft packs. And with those six packs, you make... A playable, constructed, minimum 40 card deck. Oh, that's a beautiful card. Mm. Look at that card. This one? Show that one off. Mm. Let alone, we'll walk that one off. Who is that? Oh, that's the Skullport Nexus. That is a great card that is uh, pretty sought after right now. Ah. Oh, another Jurassic Park friend. Um, pre release is such great. And this set in general is just such a fun, um, loving set. Oh! Well, let's talk about these for a second, because I think this is our first special guest. Mm. So we're in, starting in this set, and I believe Wizards will start doing this from now on, are special guest cards. So there's a certain amount of them that you can pull. Um, some of them are artifacts, which a couple of those are box toppers, and some of them are creatures. So this is a reprint of Miri, whether like Duelist, um, stuff like the Mana Crypt, and like... Um, couple others are included. I think Lord of Atlantis is the other one. 
Um, so that's kind of cool that they're bringing some cards back that kind of fit into the flavor. Um, better kind of trace cards. So, you know, fun, fun friend that we have. Mm. Beautiful card. The art team kicked, knocked it out of the park with this set. Mm. Uh, I'm cheering. The artwork is really beautiful, mm. I, I'll admit. Put I mean, on. it actually does make me want to play. Oh, here's another beautiful flip. Oh, the dinosaurs are sleeping. I'm not sleeping. Treasure token. This whole set's a treasure token, am I right, guys? <laughs> I got some buried treasures. Buried treasures. The pirates on theme to have buried Fred. treasure. Jurassic Park. Didn't <gasps> they make a movie oh, about that? They did. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta take a step back after that one. I can't beat that. <laughs> Goblin Tomb Raider. Speaking of Tomb Raider, who's excited for that secret list? Oh, beautiful get lost. Great card to have in draft here. Draft or food release. Having a dedicated removal is always great. Would you like to talk about our lovely and mythical friend? Um, Galta is back. Everyone's favorite dinosaur. So Galta is once again back in the set, returning um, from her most recent printing in March of Machines, I believe, correct? I believe she was hanging out with Maverin, which is a vampire friend. Um, but this Galta is, is, as the kids would say, bonkers. Um, they drop 12 toe trample that when it enters the battlefield, you can put any number of creatures from your hand onto the battlefield, absolutely swarming any opponent in any format that you're playing. Hmm. Um, great friend. You want to talk about these too? Yeah. yeah, for sure. Um, some more of the beautiful art, alternative art from this set is Starving Revenant, which is great for anyone uh, playing Surveil and Descend, which is one of the new mechanics caring about permanents that are in your graveyard. So that's always fun to have um, Black do uh, graveyard shenanigans. And then a beautiful brand new card from the Commander set, um, the one that comes in the Dinosaur Precon, which is great for beating up your opponent's creatures. And that finishes off my first box there. So Sorry, I'm behind, track. friends. Caverns of Souls. Oh, oh, there's the Cavern of Souls! Uh, one of the most sought after cards. It's first reprint since, I believe, in a set that wasn't, it's like a special rarity since uh, Double Masters, most recently reprinted in um, the box toppers for Lord of the Rings uh, mm. as the Pass of the Dead. Beautiful card. Great card. Make sure you hit your friends with it. They can't stop you. <laughs> hit your friends. Ah! <laughs> Uh, beautiful forest. This is our friend Greg. Greg's no, no, not around anymore. Sorry, Greg. Oh, no. Poor Greg. After, like, Ooh. opening these, it feels like I want to open... Not open. I want to watch Jurassic Park World. Well, great movies. Steven Spielberg at his finest. Well, it sounds like our little friend Lady Anya is running around. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Doing fun things around the shop. She just wants to open some of this Ixalan packs too, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Belligerent yearling. You know, that's what they, uh. I've been called that quite a few times. Found a fun command tower. Dinosaur mm. themed command tower. Mm. Molten. What was it? Collapse? Is that what it says? Ooh. Molten Collapse. A beautiful throne of the Grim Captain. Look at that cool art. Look at those pirate guys. They're up to something. Souls of the Lost. And a gnome. You've been gnomed. <laughs> Plundering pirate. Eaten by piranhas. And what a terrible way to go. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, who's that? Oh, that's the uh, Dinosaur Commander. Beautiful oh. alternate full art for it. Ooh, another Grim. That is a great card in draft. That card really lays some um, much-needed pressure on uh, your opponents. Ooh, don't move another don't great move. Jurassic Park card. Uh, very unique mechanic on that one. I think this is one of the first of its kind where it destroys all tapped creatures, which is oddly specific. Um, and then for fun of not moving, if anything becomes tapped, it destroys that creature. So, 
Hmm. Great. Uh, Galt is back. Say hi, Galt. Hello. 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 Ooh, that's canon. That's what Galt sounds like. You know? <laughs> this is a fun reprinting of Pitiless Plunder. Ooh, great card. So glad that they brought that, that friend back. Wave goodbye. Bye-bye. Ooh. Ooh, another great card. Resplendent Angel. Look at that beautiful art. It would have been better if we had it in a foil. Don't move. Don't move. Permission denied. Nuh uh uh. Captain Storm. You didn't say the magic word. Restless Reef. Was our boy um, Samuel Jackson? Thank you, Samuel L. Jackson. You see in the movie? Yeah. You ever seen the first Jurassic Park? It's been a while. She gets eaten. Carmen Cruelin Sky March. That's a sick name. It's a vampire soldier. Bringer of the last gift. But we have so many more gifts to go through. Can't be the last one. Beautiful. That's the um, Merfolk Commander Ooh. from the precons. Which, if you haven't picked up a precon, go down to your local game shop. These guys are ever in Broken Arrow. Come to Winkers. Winkers Island. Say hi. Tell them Annie sent you. Ah, uh, Lady Anya. Wherever she's at. This card right here, Nurturing Bristle Back, looks like it's like glow in the dark. Yeah, would you like to try to pronounce this card now? Oh gosh. I. Uh, Don't hate me, folks, but I, I assume it is saying Oshbinbach, the great mistake. Am I? I don't know. That's close. It. That's that's this one. Uh, Uchenbach. I, Uchenbach. I don't know. I would have never thought about that. Um, to go with all the other precon commanders we've pulled, we now have uh, Calvino, first of the blessed. There are a lot Evil of names Rummy here Brown. I can't pronounce. Uh, the Great Swamp, which you've ever seen. Shout out to all my. People who like Jurassic Park 3. Great scene at the end of the movie. Spoilers. Sorry. <laughs> Welcome to <gasps> Jurassic Park. Uh, oh. Another one. Compy Swarm. Great card. Terrifying. Really? Um, well, Compies in general. Um, for all my dinosaur guys out there. Dinosaur guys and gals. Don't be inclusive. Um, compies uh, are known for swarming their prey. You know, I don't know. Have we seen the capybara? There is a, a first for magic, which is they've made a capybara. So, hmm. Great little animal. World's largest rodent, actually, and it is aquatic. It can swim very quickly. Before we print up the thrashing brought on. Caverns of Souls. An Another, one. Another one. And you do a victory lap. Yep. <laughs> Stretch your map. Maybe we'll find another cavern of souls. Preferably Wave we find oh, another visitor. Bye bye. Another visitor. I'm sorry, Vito fanatic of Vito. <laughs> Vito fanatic of uh, Alphith. Alph is it a it's a thing. Um, that's the the black god of the set, I believe, or it's the oh, vampire, yeah. one of the two. Again. The um, the great treasure, which again, I know this is probably a lot of Jurassic Park fans with the set. Um, the treasure is the can of shaving cream from the movie. Oh my god! I forgot about that. I love that. That is one of the the best flavorful arts that magic has done in a minute. I've realized I need to rewatch the Jurassic Park movies now. You don't remember that either. I don't. It's how um, the guy steals the DNA for the giant. That's his plan to get the DNA off the island is by putting it in. I can. Spoiler so warning. It's really a spoiler warning. The movie came out thirty something years ago. Nuh uh. It's old. I think oh, it was late eighties, early nineties. I could be wrong. But it was ahead of its time. Wow. I was still in grade school. Then again, I remember I was in grade school watching it. I wasn't even born yet. <laughs> I just like look at the artwork. Mm. The 
color, it just like pops Very out bright. to life. Ooh, Ford of the Planeswalker of this set, um, which is cool because this uh, Magic has swapped to only one Planeswalker a set, um, just to kind of keep it, uh, I don't know, player friendly? I'm not sure. But um, that's our boy, uh, Cond. I can't pronounce that first one. Restless Vent. Great fool, I mean. Life um, finds a way. Oh, and another fun special guest. We have Lord Windgrace, our boy's back from Dominaria. Uh, look at that buff cat man. <laughs> Maybe we should show on with that oh, later. Oh, there you go. Mm. Oh, okay. I'm just stealing from this ball over here. Gotcha. I will attempt, but this is one of the most sought-after cards right now. This is Oshir Hog, oh. Deepest Foundation. Oh. Um, this is the white god this card is sought after because it triples the amount of creature tokens that you would make. So token players rejoice. Wizards is not done giving you the good stuff. So promising vein. It's promising. Mm -hmm. Promising. Great for mana fixing. I got another land. What is it? I cannot pronounce that. <laughs> I think it's volatile. If I'm reading that right, volatile. Upside down. Volatile fault. Thank you. Oop, I saw. A pretty is it pronounced capybara? Yes, capybara. And there's our good friend, the capybara. Mm. He pulls up. He's very happy. He's very, very content. content. Oh, we got another dinosaur card. Ojer Pak Patik. Deeping Opak. It's a god. Okay. The blue god. Uh, to to Shauna's Tidebender. Great card. It's a counter spell on a creature that also, I believe, it, that creature loses. Wait, hold on. Sorry, it, it counters an ability, and then if it counters it off of a creature, artifact, or planeswalker, um, it uh, loses all those abilities. Mm. Great little card to search after. If you don't like the cards your friends are playing, just tell them to get lost. Get lost. <laughs> <laughs> Fun fact, th this is another great card. This is the Millennium Calendar. Um, so whenever you untap or tap another uh, permanent, you put that many time counters on it, and if there are a thousand more counters on the game, um, each opponent loses a thousand life. So huh. it's a race of the clock. Interesting. Yeah. Very inspired by the um, Aztec uh, Doomsday Clock, I can't remember um, the name of. Yeah. Another command tower. Another beautiful whale of the forgotten. In the middle. Alright, and everybody has one pack left. In the middle. Yeah, all right, There's going to be four mana crypts now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no mana crypts at all out of six boxes. Is there supposed to be mana crypts? Um, uh, they have a higher chance, I wouldn't say a higher chance, but there's a better chance to pull the Chase Neon Ink variants, oh. um, which only come from these boosters. You can get a normal mana crypt in set, I believe, but not the ink ones. Mm. But it seems to be a very rare card in the set. Spelunking. Ooh, another hunting velociraptor, our third one. Mm -hmm. awesome in city. No mana crypt for me. Nope. Nothing wow. for me. Okay, so nothing. Well, hope you guys had fun watching us open. What is it, sparkly hands? Is that what we're doing? Jazz hands. Jazz hands, hands, that's what it is. All right, friends, I hope you guys had fun. Leave any comments down below what you guys want to see next. Um, like and subscribe. Bye, friends. Bye. See you later.